Tico Tico Bird in the Cornfield. Uh, this is the melody. I'm going to go through the different sections and see if I can give you some tips and hints on how to make it a bit easier. Okay, so the first section, the A minor section, one, two, three. down that chord, the B7 chord, so all three notes together, which makes it a lot quicker. Now for this bit, the second time bar with the E7 chord, you need a finger and that works for you. You can extend your fingers over those notes there, or if you find the stretch a bit big, you could do four, two, one, and use the one twice. The next section is the A major section where you hold down the chord shapes. So I'm holding down the two and one all the time. Change the uh, E7 so I've got the 4 and 2 held down throughout now. Change back to the A shape. And here's shift. Sorry. Tricky that. And again that section. To the original melody. Hold down the chord shape. the C major section. And again hold the chord shape down. Usually if you're performing it, you do it slow now, just for added drama. Turn to the beginning. The chords are played like this if you're doing the chord part instead of the uh, melody.
and so on. So the strumming pattern for this this uh, Latin thing, Latin feel here is down. Up. And then it goes on like that. So that's really the uh, the strumming pattern throughout. You damp the fingers quite a lot, and that adds to sort of the the Latin feel. Okay, tico tico bed in the cornfield. Uh, the best way to do that, really, to practice it, is to practice each section separately and slowly. Certain bits need more practice than others. Certain bits you're going to be able to play okay. Certain bits you're going to have to practice a lot. So, for instance, when we get to the run here, uh, if I can find it. Yeah. Oh, I can't find it. All right. That bit's easy. So you'd practice that bit separately. And then you would go to that note first of all, the fifth fret. Oh, I've forgotten my notes now. Ah, I've found a bit. And once you've got the shift ready, and then you can practice the bit uh, which is high from the fifth fret, if I can find it again. And then you just practice that bit and then you move on to the next bit. So really you've just got to go over the bits enough 